Thank you and good morning. As you can see in the title, uh, this session will be focused on the main achievements of the community over the six, li six uh, years of implementation. But before going into details, uh, let me explain a little bit what is our story. It was December 2016 when the Secretariat of the Interreg Met program met us all together in, Mar in Marseille. They wanted to explain us that uh, from that moment there will be a new program architecture and from, from that projects won't work in an isolated manner anymore. At the time, neither the projects nor the ones who had the responsibility to manage the communities have a clear idea about how it will work. Until then, the projects have developed their, their activities, the partnerships, um, their goals, more or less in an isolated manner. But we had to go further for two main reasons. First, the program realized that many projects were dealing with the same issues or complementary issues. So to, to search, to find synergies among them should be something easier and helpful to enrich the results of all of them. The second reason was that the Mediterranean destinations are facing common challenges. What you do is not only interesting for your territory, your partnership, but it could be interesting, relevant to transfer to other destinations. So the impact of the projects should go beyond the scope of the territories and partners involved, as Curcio mentioned uh, during uh, his presentation th this morning. <coughs> that is, from my perspective, the rationale behind the thematic communities. So what we have done as an umbrella project is trying to generate this community building among the projects to increase the, the scope of their communication and to support them in transfer their results. But let me talk about the, the main protagonist of this story, the projects of the community. Without them, the community has no sense, has no reason to exist. They are our raw material and on which we have built our activities. There are 30 projects with an investment of more than 50 million euros from the ERDF funds dealing with different topics. Uh, some of them are uh, trying to diversify the tourism offer in the Mediterranean. Others are dealing with uh, trying to understand the impact of the tourism in the territory. And also others are developing new tools for the management and planning of the Mediterranean de destinations. In my opinion, it's important to, to stress also that it's not only a community of projects, but a community of entities. More than 200 entities are involved in these 30 projects. And a community of people. More than 500 people are included in our databases. So people engage in trying uh, and commit to develop a more sustainable tourism in the Mediterranean. It is true that sometimes uh, the setting up of the community has not been an easy task. Like all voluntary collaboration, it's based on the mutual trust. The generation of relationships between entities and people and the identification of mutual benefits, a win-win situation. In other words, how to convert the community in a vehicle to make happen that together we go farther. It's worthy to mention, too, that we also had to overcome an unexpected situation like the pandemic was, that has clearly affected uh, a project that is based on bilateral <coughs> interpersonal relationships, and which has also hit the tourist sector very hard. But at the same time, trying to identify positive effects, it has put uh, tourism in the top of the agenda and has accelerated previous debates on tourist sustainability and digitalization. So we hope that we have been able to generate uh, this critical mass, this sense of community, and to achieve the goals established in that meeting in Marseille six months ago, <coughs> six years ago. Now it's time to recap. 
Today and tomorrow, you will hear about the main results of the projects uh, within the different roundtables and how these ready-to-use solutions can contribute to the improvement of the tourism and also how, how to contribute to the tourist transition pathway in the next decade. That's the little story of our community so far. But we have to be sure that this cooperation will continue in the future with a new Euromed program in the next seven years. Now I, I give the floor to my colleagues, Dora and Gloria. As I said, we as an umbrella project have, we, have had the role of collecting and harmonizing uh, the knowledge generated by, by the community. They will showcase some of the main achievements of this uh, six-year trip. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Dora Papatheohari. I represent University of Thessaly, that is a partner. Um, I don't know if I, no. It is a partner uh, uh, in the tourism uh, community, in tourism, sustainable tourism community horizontal project. Uh, we have been uh, responsible for the uh, community building and transferring activities of our community. So now I will present to you some outcomes of uh, our work. Um, so the first of our outcomes is the catalogue of outputs. Um, this catalogue of outputs uh, is a collection of the most tangible uh, outputs of our community. And by tangible, I mean that they are easy to use and it is easy to replicate in other territories of the Mediterranean and beyond that. Um, this uh, catalogue includes uh, short descriptions of the projects, their main aims and objectives, and it also includes some uh, basic information of their uh, tangible outputs. Um, here you see some examples. Um, further on, I will show you a specific example of one of the outputs. Um, this is a collection of about uh, 20 or 25 um, outputs. It is about uh, one or two outputs per project. Um, so far, we have uh, already an initial uh, version of the catalog, which is available online and you can find it in our, in our website. Uh, but we are working now in a new, this is the new and improved version, and uh, it, will be, it will be available very soon. The second outcome, uh, I'm sorry, this is, a, this is an example uh, of one of the outputs. Uh, it comes from one uh, of our projects, it's called Inherit Project, and this is the Inheritura Areas uh, Label Output. As you can see in the table, we, we provide some uh, uh, information about the, the type of output and the type of stakeholders involved for its implementation. We uh, also identify together with the project what are the policy targets it aims at, and we have uh, identified a set of 12 policy targets for our community. Uh, also, the, the template includes, includes a short description of the output that summarizes the purpose and why it is useful for other territories. Here you can see a map of uh, the implementation areas where the output has already been tested. And uh, this map includes also areas at the local level with reference also to the uh, coastal regions of the Mediterranean. Uh, next to the template, we see an implementation example. Here, uh, uh, some references are made on how it, it was made possible to implement in a specific area, and uh, also some references to the type of destinations it refers to. Next, this is a very important part of the template because uh, we explain the replicability conditions. That means uh, what are the human uh, resources needed, what is the, uh, if there is a need for specific software, a specific infrastructure, uh, and any other uh, training needed for the, for the implementation of the output. And also, we, have, uh, we are identifying together with the projects what is the contribution of this output to tourism recovery after the pandemic. Finally, the catalog uh, concludes with some information on the project, uh, links to the, to the output, and also the, the partner that is responsible for its implementation. The next uh, outcome of our community is Search the Met platform. Um, this is a, a search engine that we have developed in, in, and uh, 
Uh, here you can find the collection of uh, documents that are, at, that are related to tourism sustainability. Um, it includes a variety of documents, uh, mostly scientific papers and project deliverables, also some books and other reports related to tourism sustainability. Um, this is the site where you can visit it, it's already available. Here we see uh, some, um, let's say, results coming from the, from the use of the, uh, from the entries and the use of the platform. Here we see the distribution of project outputs by country. We see that there is a, a good coverage for Mediterranean uh, countries with uh, uh, Italy, Spain, Greece, Croatia and France taking the lead. Uh, here we see a distribution of project outputs by dimension, by, by sustainability dimensions. Uh, we see also a good coverage, which is a prerequisite for our community because we are talking about tourism sustainability and we want to cover all dimensions. This is a distribution of scientific papers by special reference. So here we see that uh, the majority of the scientific papers refers to the Mediterranean and the local level, which is kind of complying with the, the focus that our community has been, uh, has had the, all these years. Uh, this is a, a, an overall um, a collection of the issues addressed mostly at the platform. He, here we see 10 of them, and we see that resource management and capacity building have been the issues mostly uh, that collect the, the most highest interest. Some statistics coming out of the use of the platform. Uh, we have weekly visits, uh, we have uh, we visits every week, and uh, here we see that there has also been an increase of uh, the weekly visits uh, in comparison to the previous uh, uh, three months. Uh, we also see that uh, users are directly uh, entering the, the platform or they just use one search in order to find it, which is good because it shows that people are aware of this platform. These are the visits per country and device. We see that, of course, the Mediterranean uh, countries, uh, the, Mediterranean, the users of the Mediterranean and European countries are using this platform, but we, there is also an international uh, interest. Uh, we see that um, nine out of ten um, visits uh, are from a, from a desktop, but there is also a, a tremendous increase in, in the mobile use. The next uh, outcome is the bridging toolkit. This uh, here today I will show you some preliminary results of this toolkit because it is ongoing. It has not finished yet. Um, the, the 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 goals of this uh, 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 tool for us is to analyze the components and the results of the projects under the sustainable tourism community. Also, we want to evaluate their effectiveness in terms of covering the targets of the program in the current program period. And also, uh, the final and most important target is that we want to connect the components of the current period with the missions and specific objectives of the new programming period of 2021 and 2027. I will show you some preliminary results. This, for example, is a, a map that shows the partners, the number of partners in the, in the coastal regions of uh, the Mediterranean. And this gives us a clue of how many uh, the distribution of partners of uh, our community. If we translate this uh, map into spatial terms, then we see how the, uh, the implementation areas have been distributed in, uh, in the coastal regions. Uh, here we see uh, the, um, uh, the involvement of the, of the implementation areas, starting from the first call of proposals, the, the interim call, the second and the third call. So uh, this gives us uh, the evolution of how uh, the, the coastal regions have been uh, integrated into the, the community and we see which uh, areas have been mostly uh, active in, the, in this uh, current programming period. Now if we translate in this map into economic terms, we see the budget distribution in coastal regions uh, for the, the current programming period. 
and uh, it gives us an idea of uh, which areas have been funded uh, in this programming period and maybe where we should focus in the future. And finally, uh, one final map which is still ongoing because we are still working on it, we haven't uh, finished our activities, is a, a map showing the transferring activities, the, the transferring um, results that have, have already been achieved. So here we see uh, the, uh, the receiver areas of our outputs and knowledge, and these uh, areas have received these uh, outputs, they have adopted these outputs and this knowledge. Uh, this has been done by three ways, uh, either by the, the projects that have uh, transferred their, their outputs even after the end of their duration, or uh, by the so-called transferring projects that we have in our community, which have been um, which have the sole aim of transferring specific outputs, or by the horizontal project, our project, and we partners act as uh, territorial antennas that bring outputs and knowledge in other territories. Um, so we will continue work doing that until the end of 2022. So I imagine this uh, map will be uh, enhanced. So I will give the floor now to my colleague Gloria to continue. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dora and Giuseppe. My name is Gloria Lazaro. I'm program officer at Plan Blue. And uh, Plan Blue is a regional activity center of the Mediterranean Action Plan. <coughs> and um, we have been members of the previous phase of this uh, project and of the current one. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we will be partners of the next one, if, uh, if possible. And, um, I'm very happy to be today with you because I think that today we need to celebrate that finally we can be together here. And, um, <laughs> thank you. and um, also because, um, as Curcio said, we have uh, been working hard and we have a lot of things to share today with you that uh, might be uh, a source <laughs> of inspirations from Mediterranean destinations. So um, I'm happy to present uh, the catalog of best practices on sustainable tourism in the Mediterranean. This work um, has been possible thank you, thanks to uh, Into Destinations, uh, Nagore Espinosa and Laura Taroncher, and uh, all the people that uh, kindly shared their experiences uh, to be possible to have uh, this catalog. So um, I will pass to the next slide to introduce you the main goal of this uh, report <laughs> is to showcase examples of the sustainable tourism community which has been successfully integrated and incorporated into uh, policies with concrete results. And uh, the idea is to inspire uh, decision makers uh, to implement these uh, tools in their destinations and to foster the adoption and the sustainability of the sector in the Mediterranean. How uh, we did uh, this? The first uh, thing is to say that um, we established a methodology with uh, six criteria. The criteria were that the destinations uh, have been facing issues or challenges. They have acted on one or more of those issues. They have been obtaining results and lessons learned to be shared. They have uh, been in contact with key stakeholders and they, they've implemented a stakeholder, sorry, a stakeholder uh, collaboration and um, that the results are replicable and um, they have been implementing lessons learned into public policies. So the result is that uh, through interviewing uh, these, uh, these people, we obtained eight best practices uh, across the Mediterranean region, uh, showing how these uh, destinations have been tackled, uh, different issues, and uh, showing uh, big cities, island, inland, and coastal territories. And uh, also showcasing success at different points. The first point is how to manage flows, uh, considering the carrying capacity of different destinations. And uh, the second one is improving circularity uh, through reducing, uh, through the energy waste uh, and water management. 
and also improving the mobility in different destinations and um, also diversifying the offer uh, model in the Mediterranean. And uh, here you are, uh, the, the, preliminary, the preliminary layout of uh, one of the destinations that will be integrated in this catalog. This is the, um, the city of Dubrovnik. I'm very happy because I think that we have representatives of the Ministry of Croatia. I think that uh, there were, yes, I, I can see you. Yes, so we are very happy to have this example because this is a great example of collaboration uh, with the private sector and the public authority to uh, have uh, concrete results um, considering also the well-being of the local communities um, in which they achieve to limit uh, the cruise passengers uh, they also um, have a better cruise ship arrival and schedule during the week, a better coordination, and uh, also they have a um, berthing uh, policy uh, established. So um, this is a very good case uh, to be showed as a big city. Uh, but we have also, and this is also thanks uh, to the Herit Data Project with the, um, the sensors, uh, that uh, uh, allows to better manage the, the flows of tourists in the destination. And uh, two other examples, because today the idea is to give you a flavor, but not to, to tell you everything about this catalog, is about Retimo and Vergeda. Uh, Retimo municipality has implemented uh, solutions uh, for the um, circularity in this uh, municipality. Uh, through um, the management of uh, energy and mobility, uh, improving the renewable energy uh, that uh, they, they have there to improve the, um, the mobility and uh, also the management of waste. And when we talk about uh, Bergeda, uh, this is an example of uh, how to diversify the tourism offer and to, um, to showcase how how rich is our region and uh, to, to improve and to encourage uh, the tourists to, provide, to, to profit uh, or to enjoy our Mediterranean mountains. So um, this is uh, what I would like to present and um, just uh, three main points uh, to finish my presentation is that um, now is the moment we, we are here just uh, after the, the COVID, we'll say. So we have the opportunity to, to act. We have a specific cases that can be implemented because there are results of, um, of concrete and clear results that could be implemented in other places because they are replicable. And uh, something that has uh, been already said uh, that uh, we all have a role to play. And um, that's it, uh, we are here today to to keep working together, and uh, that's it from my side. Thank you so much, and if you, if you have questions, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria and Dora. As you have seen, we have produced uh, concrete outputs and results in this uh, phase of the community. Uh, to you, tomorrow, you, you will hear uh, about other outputs because we are going to talk about the EU funding possibilities uh, in the next programming period. So we will talk about the, the handbook on how to use the ERDF and recovery funds for sustainable tourism. We will talk also about the Interact Met Academy and the learning programs uh, related to tourism that we have integrated in this, in this uh, joint initiatives of the, of the Met communities. And of course, you will hear in the, in, the, in the following round tables, you will hear some experiences and concrete outputs and results produced by the modular projects of the community. That's important. And, and you, will sh you will see that uh, several of them are very, very interesting. So I don't know if we have questions. If not, I think it's time for a well-deserved coffee. <laughs> so the floor is, the floor is yours. Yes, <laughs>